Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to lose the cellulite, okay? The stuff that's on the side of your hip and your butt, the stuff that you hate. Uh, let's just talk about what is this thing, cellulite, first. Normally you have the skin, you have this outer connective, uh, kind of like a sheath of connective tissue, it's called fascia, right underneath the skin, that keeps everything held together. Uh, it's like saran wrap. And then you have a fat layer, okay? These little fat cells underneath. And then you have the muscle. So you have these layers. What happens in cellulite is you have an enlargement of the fat cells. The fat cells get bigger. They fill up with fat. Then you get an overstretched fascia. So this spider web thing that's supposed to hold it starts to separate and the fat kind of bulges up through it, giving this dimple effect. Okay. Then behind it you have the atrophied muscle which makes the whole thing kind of jiggly and, and hang off the body. So we have a combination of atrophied muscle, fat cell enlargement, and broken down fascia. That's what's happening. So now let's talk about how to reverse this thing because there are things that you can do. Uh, like if you had a pregnancy and you basically gained a lot of weight and then lost a lot of weight, and then you went on a diet and gained a lot of weight and lost a lot of weight, you're eventually going to get cellulite because you're just you're you're creating this 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 overstretching of your fascia, and that can do it as well. But typically, what happens during menopause is these hormones shift. You're maybe more inactive, and everything just starts going downhill. So number one, we want to shrink the fat cell. We need to get the fat out. When you lose weight, when you lose fat, you're not getting rid of the fat cell. Okay, you're just shrinking them. You can't get rid of your fat cell you're just making them smaller. So to do that, you have to deal with the main hormone that controls how much fat goes in there, and that's insulin. You have to lower insulin. You cannot fix cellulite without lowering insulin first, okay? How do you lower insulin? I put a link down below, but typically you're gonna to have to change the eating plan, you have to cut out the carbs, you're gonna to have to do intermittent fasting. So I list exactly what you need to do. You need to watch that video. That will decrease this fat for sure, okay? Because, because this is, Bigger, this fat is also producing inflammation too, so it's probably very, very sore in your hips and thighs as well. But once you reduce that, the soreness will go away. So we want to lower insulin. Number two, we want to tighten up this fascia. This fascia is controlled by hormones, specifically growth hormone. Growth hormone is the anti-aging hormone that is involved with all proteins in the body. Not just the hair, skin, nails, but the fascia around your hips, your buttocks, and around that fat. If you try to lose weight unhealthily, you never fix the growth hormone factor, and you end up never getting rid of the cellulite. So we want, this is all, this is about really getting the liver healthy. It's about triggering growth hormone as much as you can. It's not about taking hormones, it's about, you have to do some type of exercise. You have to, there's no way around it. You have to physically move those muscles in there to activate it, but the best is um, a combination of a little higher intense full body exercise, specifically you know in the hips and thighs, but then lots of rest. The, the key is recovery and sleep. So we want to increase the sleep, increase the high intensity, lots of rest, make sure you don't overtrain. And then you can get these, this fascia back and the muscle as well. Uh, moderate amount of protein, you want to consume high quality amino acids. I like eggs, egg yolk. Don't do low fat protein powders. Um, you want to add more fat. If you do a protein powder, add fat to it. Um, intermittent fasting, vital, because intermittent fasting triggers growth hormone. If you're doing five, six meals a day spread out or snacks, you're never going to increase growth hormone. And then the third thing is cortisol. Cortisol is very destructive on the muscles. So more cortisol from stress will just prevent everything from working. It keeps the insulin high. It keeps growth hormone down. So we really want to handle with this. This, you may want to uh, support the adrenals directly if you need to, if, because the adrenals control cortisol. Um, but typically what you have to do is you have to cut the stress out, increase the sleep, very vital, and then also vitamin D. I, get sun if you can. More sun would be better. And uh, a lot of walking. Walking will also lower cortisol. So the combination on the days off that you don't do the high intensity, go for a walk. Very important. Um, and then the last thing is estrogen. Estrogen. If you ever notice, more um, women get cellulite than men because of the estrogen component. Estrogen makes fat, unfortunately. Estrogen puts the fat around the hips. So what, how do you lower estrogen? You, you
want to consume cruciferous vegetables, you want to get your liver really, really healthy. Very, very important to do that. But the last thing I want to mention is that this condition is not a little thing. It's a major problem that's been there chronically for, it takes so many years for this to end up like this. So just realize it's going to take some time to get this back. It could take one to two to three years before you start getting your, your tissues back to where they should. Don't think it's going to happen in a week and give up. Just think long term because um, to rebuild this stuff, at, if, especially if you're menopausal, it's just going to have time. But you're going to see changes over time. So, and you'll see improvements. And definitely do it before and after picture so you can visualize that so you're not looking at yourself in the mirror every second and not seeing the, the changes as fast. All right? Go ahead and apply these things and put your comments below. Forget it, forget it, I'm done.